Hi everyone, happy Monday. Hope your start to the week was as productive as ours. Uh, I have today in the kitchen with me, let me introduce you to um, our little chef. His name is Jacob. Jacob, where are you from? Warwick. From Warwick on the Darling Down. So hello to all our good friends. Actually, we drove back through Warwick on the weekend. We were down in Armadale for a big rugby carnival. So not only do I have my three beautiful boys tonight, but I've got my two beautiful nephews as well. So that is how many kids? Five. Five. And how many adults? Eight. So that's eight people, three hungry teenage boys. So what am I making for dinner, you ask? I am making, well, no correction, sorry, I'm not making. Uh, Jacob had volunteered to help me make tonight's dinner, and it is savoury mince. So, Jackie, can you grab the mince? Now, why we chose savoury mince is because mince was on sale at IGA today. So I bought this huge big kilo pack for less than $10 of four-star lean mint. So upended into the hot. So we've got a non-stick frying pan, four-star mince, and we are going to pop that. So, Jakey, all you've got to do down now is just careful not to burn yourself because that's hot. Just break up the mint. So you might want to hold the handle if that helps you that way. There you are. So we're just going to break up the mint. And with savoury mints, my grandmother, so Jake's mum and I are cousins, and they're our mothers, the sisters, their mother has been making this savoury mint. So this savoury mint has been around for decades. And essentially... What, what she made savoury mince for was to use up all her leftover veggies or bits and pieces of veggies. And she flavours it with that, a good old packet of French onion soup. So I'd be really interested to know, and hello to everyone joining us today. My gosh, so many of you. But why? Because savoury mince, if you have not made this for your boys, or visitors, this is just my go-to on a busy night when you've got loads of hungry people uh, for dinner. So Jakey's just smashing up the mince, and I might just put a little bit more heat in there for you, love. And then what we're going to add, Jay, and then, sorry, going back, mince, and then we're going to flavour with French onion soup. But before I put the French onion soup in, I'm going to add, I've got first um, some onion. Now, why did I add onion? Because I had an onion in the fridge. So as you can see, and yes, beautiful people, this is more than four ingredients, but the base of savoury mince is really just mince, onion, and French onion soup and water. That's it. But I had a zucchini. I had some capsicum. I had six mushrooms and an onion and some carrot. So what I love about this dish as well is remember your five and two, five veggies, isn't it, Jakey? Five veggies every day and two pieces of fruit. This is your veggies in one big meal. And veggies too just make this dish go a lot further than just the mince in isolation. So look at all of this. That's all going into the savoury mince, but we want a little bit more colour in the mince. And I'll just, oh, have we turned off? Oh, we have now, let's see what's happening here. Jakey Jakes, we don't panic in the four ingredients kitchen when things don't work so good. We just keep going, don't we, love? Yep. Hang on a sec, did we just, is that plugged in? Oh, let's see now. There we go, we stepped on the cord and it didn't work. Thought it was taking a little while, but that's all right. So hello everyone joining us and there's so many of you as well. It's lovely to see you all. Hope you've all had a fabulous start to the um, to the week. Katrina Montanez, hello, darling, just around the corner. Rianne Baby, hello from the Gold Coast. Oh, we're at the sunny coast, Rianne. Hope your day was as lovely as ours. Rebecca Butler, how lovely to see you online. Melissa Phillips, hello, darling. You're also from the Darling Downs, beautiful part of the world. Elaine Cross, hi, another good-looking young man. Elaine, I'm surrounded by them, aren't I? Blessed, so lucky. Beautiful Hannah Brown. Hannah Brown, surely you've made this savoury mince. You and Eden would absolutely love it. So Julesy Smith, love a good savoury mince. Jules, how do you make yours? I'd be interested. Let me all know how you make your savoury mince because really it's just in the flavouring. So this is probably going to take us about eight minutes from start to end because I want, I want to show you, and because I'm cooking a kilo of mince, well, Jakey is cooking a kilo of mince, it's just going to take a little time for it to brown. And we want it to sort of brown before we add. I've just added a chopped up onion. And why do we add, why do we like onion, Jakey? The flavour. 
flavor. 100% it's the flavor. Anything from the scallion family. So scallion is the name of the family, like butler is the name of your family, Makoska, the name of my family. And the members of the scallion family are onions, shallots, leeks, chives, all those kind of really strong um, oniony flavoured vegetables. So Jake's just breaking up all that mince. I've added the onion. And why I've added the onion first is because it's the harder of all the vegetables. So it just needs a little bit more time than the softer veggies to break down. So remember, in your savoury mince, it's a fantastic way to use up any kind of leftover veggies. So, you know, grate into it whatever you've got. I've grated in parsnips, I've chopped in Brussels sprouts, the stalks of just Brussels sprouts, cauliflower. So it's a cracker. And mostly the kids don't. My middle son's probably a bit more fussier than my eldest and my youngest. But in savoury means he has absolutely no clue how many veggies he's eating. So don't tell him tonight, Jake. Don't spoil it. Our little secret. So Jake's done a great job. You can see that the mince is all broken up here, which is really good. It's brown. We've added the onion. So Jake, can you get the pepper, love, please? And we will crack in heaps of pepper. So yeah, and then upside down and just turn. So, Jakey, tell everyone, have you got a part-time job? Yes, I do. What do you do for your part-time um, job? I work at a restaurant in Warwick. And what's the name of the restaurant in Warwick? Charbellas. Charbellas. And what do they serve at Charbellas? What's the most popular thing on the, on the menu? Um, pizza. Oh, pizza. So, is it a pizza restaurant? Uh, well, you may... Pizzas, yeah. pastas, yeah. risottos, burgers and wraps. So there you go, beautiful people. Anyone passing through Warwick, say the name again. Go to Charbellas. Go to Charbellas in Warwick. All sorts of goodie treats there by the sounds of it. I love a good homemade burger too. Mm -hmm. The best. You can't beat them, can you? So, okay, the mince is browned. Jakey's just seasoned it with pepper. We're not seasoning it with salt because, remember, before I said our major sort of seasoning is French onion soup and there's enough sodium in that so you don't really need to season with salt. So we're going to add, just keep stirring Jakey while I add this. We've got carrot. You tell everyone the cup the veggies, hun, as I'm adding them. What are we adding? Um, carrot, yep. zucchini, mushrooms, capsicum and onion. And onion. So that is five beautiful veggies. And you know what, Jay? When I grew up, my dad used to say to us, my brothers and I, eat the rainbow. What do you think he meant by that? The mixture. Yeah, the mixture and also colours. There's the colours in rainbows. The more colour in food, generally the more antioxidants or vitamins and minerals. So eat the rainbow. That's a good, yep. you know, anything red, like strawberries and beetroot, green. So lots of nutrients in colourful food, isn't there, love? A lot and a lot. Okay, so yes, mental note, beautiful people. If you are making a big batch like what Jake and I are to feed a lot of people, you're going to need a really large saucepan. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up two packets. So if you were just doing, making enough for four people, you would only use one packet of French onion soup. So uh, this little French onion soup, someone just asked why this one. It was on sale for less than a dollar. 97 cents I paid for this, my little local IGA today. So, but I've used the black and gold French onion soup mixture and it's fantastic as well. So, Jakey, in with the first one. Can you smell it? It smells delicious. It does smell good, doesn't it? Good old French onion soup. Who's made apricot chicken? Oh, do you know what? Let's do apricot chicken as a live one day. Ooh, I haven't done it for ages, but that's, remember, chicken, apricot, nectar, onion and French onion soup. One of the very first recipes that ever went into the original old green-covered four ingredients cookbook. So what we want to do, Jake, I'm going to reach behind you. We've added, we've browned off the mince, we've browned off the onion, we added all the vegetables, and Jake's just put in the two satchels, so about 35 grams, two satchels of dry French onion soup that were on sale in my day for a dollar today. So what we want to do, we want to give it a little bit of liquid. Because there are natural thickening agents in the French onion soup, we want to add a little bit of liquid. And then we're just going to reduce the heat 
and give it time for that beautiful savory mince, all those veggies to cook to absorb the flavor of the French onion soup. So just watch it because if it starts to get a little dry, just add a little bit more, a little bit more water. And what it does, it kind of just reduces down like, think of a meat pie, a mince pie, that sort of, you know, thick consistency of the mince in a meat pie. That's what this looks like. But we're going to serve it tonight in beautiful, fresh, uh, fresh, crusty bread rolls. And that's our savoury mince. As easy as one, two, three, four, or well, five veggies. And then just mince some French onion soup. So thanks, everyone. Hello, Josie Kate. Don't forget the mash. I don't put mash in my savoury mince, but actually... You could add mash, you could add mash and then pour the savoury mince over it. Or we're doing it on beautiful fresh, um, fresh bread rolls, so you could do that as well. You have, you eat your savoury mince tomorrow if I have leftovers, so I highly doubt it. I will actually be um, putting them in my pie machine because it's savoury mince pies are just delicious. My boys love that as well. Danny Hocken, hello from Perth. Carly Buxton, hello from New Central Coast. Hope the weather was nice down there today. Gina Reese, hello to you. I'm sure you're on the West Coast. It's raining at the moment. Well, you need savoury mince on the menu tonight. So it's an easy one. Cheryl Saunders, I come from Toowoomba. Well, the next time you're in Warwick, Cheryl, where are you going for dinner? You are going to? Charbellos. Charbellos. Pasta, rice, pizza, everything on the menu at Charbellos. So beautiful people, what I'll do, Jakey and I will just reduce the heat and we'll let this simmer and give it time for all those flavours to really sort of blend together. So I don't know if you can see it. That's kind of what it looks like at the moment. But we're going to reduce down that liquid and give it time to all sort of thicken and come together. But already you can smell. This is a really nice smelling, pleasant dish your whole family is going to love. You serve it with mash, you serve it with um, bread, on bread rolls, however you want to eat it. Keep some, make extra and put it in your pie machine tomorrow as well. But if at all during these holidays you've got extra people at your dinner table, like I tend to often have, Savory mince is a kicker, especially when they're hungry. And I don't know if you can see this, but if I turn this around in my beautiful kitchen, look at the audience I've got. These are just a few of the hungry mouths that I will be feeding tonight. That's our beautiful dog. We just washed him. So we're all nice and clean and hygienic in our house today. So anyway, have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Uh, and we shall see you. Don't forget, we've got Facebook Live uh, on Wednesday at 11 o'clock where we are making an amazing bread and butter pudding with hot cross buns. So we'll see you then, 11 o'clock on Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Jakey. Yeah. Toodles. And there we go. Bye, everyone. Have a fabulous week. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> We're all coming out of the work work now. Bye -bye. Say bye. Bye, -bye. bye everybody. Bye, -bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Love you all.